This video is just a follow-on RegGen video to demonstrate some more of the features of editing existing projects. Um, I'm going to open a project that was created in the uh, creating a project video and um, that was sample one. I can either do it from manage projects or open projects. I'll do it from manage projects this time. So we'll say open project. Uh, well, this project has one bank, bank zero. So we're going to edit that bank. So open that bank. See the registers that I created before are still here. Um, register zero was just a full 16 bit read write register. Register one had a couple of different fields, um, a couple of a, a reserve field, uh, read only single bit field, and a four bit read write field. I'm going to add another uh, register. I'm just going to call this one my reg 2 um, I'm going to put some of the options on this time. I'm going to add a write pulse and read pulse. Um, what those features do is they create an additional output from the register um, and from the register bank block that can be used to control things like a FIFO um, so that when you write to uh, a particular register, um, a pulse is generated that will write that value out of the block and could be used to load a FIFO, um, or conversely, if you read to uh, read in from a FIFO. I'll also click the bundle ports uh, option, which puts the um, all of the outputs of the fields for the register into a, a single signal so that even if you have a bunch of uh, differently named bits, they all come out of the um, bank as a single 16-bit uh, wide bus. So I don't want the address at 1F. I'm going to put it at address 4 and submit that. So I have a new register with no fields, so I'll start by creating some fields. Um, I'll make the first field uh, just control zero, make it three bits wide, leave the default value to zero, to read write, just say uh, right now since I made that three, I want the next field to start on let's say bit four instead of bit three so i'm going to add one reserve bit now i'm going to add another field i'm going to make this one a uh, read only field call it uh, status zero just for some read only status bits we'll make it two bits And uh, just say status. I'm going to fill out that nibble again by adding more reserve bits. This time I need two more to fill in to the end of the nibble. I'm going to add a couple of one bit fields. So create a uh, just a write only. We'll just call it reset zero. Make it a write only reset. Uh, add another. This is going to be a read to clear. We'll call it in zero. One bit wide. Make another one, again, one bit wide. Good. Uh, and one. So I'm going to go right to clear. Let's see. Uh, 
I'll fill that out with a single reserve bit. And then we'll just add four bit. Read, write. And submit that. So now we've pretty much filled it out. If we decided that we wanted to, let's say, put the reset at a higher bit number, can move it up. So now the reset is just up in a higher order bit. Um, so that's some of the editing functions you can do um, within a register. You can also, um, for instance, if you wanted to edit this register, some of the upper parameters, let's say you wanted to change the name of it, um, call it my sparse red one, submit. Or if we decided that uh, we didn't want that register at all, we can delete the register. I'm going to cancel that because I'm going to keep it in there. That is it for editing the registers in the bank. Um, if you wanted to at this point, you could go ahead and regenerate and uh, take the new output and not on uh, untar it and have updated HDL code. So it's just that simple. Thank you.